The Finding of an Ocean Although many people had come to the new world, not one of them knew how big it was. They thought that if they kept on walking or riding over the land, they would come to India or to China. If you look at the map, you will see that this was impossible, because even if they traveled across the land, there was an ocean in the way. In Darien or Panama, Vasco Nunez de Balboa and his men started to travel as far across the continent as they could go. An Indian had told Balboa that if he kept on traveling, he would come to a sea, and on the shore of that sea he would find gold and silver. So on went Balboa and his men through swamps and through hot jungles and across rivers. Always the thought of that shining gold and silver was with them. Always it led them on. At last they came to a hill from which one could look down on what lay below. Balboa climbed the hill and stood there alone while his men waited at the foot of it. He looked over a great ocean. Then he and his men continued their march to the shore. There Balboa waded out into the water with sword in his hand. This ocean, he said, now belonged to Spain forever and ever. It was to be called the Great South Sea. We call it the Pacific Ocean because another man gave it that name.